My name is Donald. I was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. As I was growing up, you know, I uh, gravitated toward the streets. Started using marijuana. Got into a lot of trouble in school, and it just snowballed. I wanted to know God, but I was just too preoccupied with running the streets and getting high. I was messed up. I got strung out, was in the street, wound up in jail. And that's when I got my witness in prison. It was a slow process as I was getting to know Jehovah and I was making the changes. A lot of us go in there and we're depressed because of the situation. We're looking for some hope, coming in there with 25 years, 15 years, you know, and you're thinking your life is over. Your life's not over. You know, you, Jehovah could do a lot with you. Jehovah can, you know, your whole perspective can change. I knew if I applied what I learned, Jehovah would not let me down. I made a lot of decisions based on what I was learning and what I wanted to do for the future because I knew God could help me get my life back. When I finally made my first meeting, uh, I'm sitting in the congregation, I go straight to the front. I'm in Jehovah's house, I'm all right. I was determined that I was gonna keep studying. And I have people who's respected. You know, the congregation looks up to me, and I always attribute that to Jehovah. I never had this, you know? I was just a bum on the street. Game on, come here, get me From my very first meeting, it felt like my congregation was my family. My studying has helped me to be a better husband, and I respect my wife, and I love my wife, and I'm gonna be loyal and faithful to my wife. I spent seven and a half years of my life in prison. And it was like, I thought my life was, uh, it's worthless. But yeah, there's not a day I don't go thank Jehovah for taking me out of the darkness. You know, he wants to take care of us. And he don't care what the situation is, he can take us up out of any situation if we just willing to do it his way. 